Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is going to be another account takeover video for Raid Shadow Legends. We've got Supporto here. Um, maybe he plays League of Legends and he hears a support champion. Who knows? But basically, we are looking to do a takeover to boost his clan boss damage, help him with some arena, and then get him through the all important Spiders 20. Um, so this guy, Supporto, has been playing for a while. Not too long, actually. I mean, he's into his. his, his um, additional days so he's, he's, he's kind of cracked the 90 days a while ago um decent looking great hall good looking great hall actually accuracy boosted up defense crit damage can't complain exactly the right areas to be working on there that's going to give him a big boost for the clan boss fights let's get rid of all of these red dots because they're doing me in um right let's get into this then so um for for clan boss actually let's just see who he runs clan boss so we are running with, we've already done our clan boss hits. Let's just see what we got. So one key, 34 million, just under 34 million on Nightmare. He's got no problems with Nightmare at all. It's Ultra Nightmare where we are looking to improve. Right, here we go. Changes have been made. Valkyrie is now a beast. Uh, what's she got then? 6.6k defense. That's where you want your Valkyrie. 191 speed. That's where you want your Valkyrie. 43k HP. We don't care about all this stuff. <clears throat> she is good to go. So what have we done then? We put defense gloves on her, defense chest on her, defense boots on her. She got completely mixed sets. I don't care about the sets. I just want the stats. Uh, we've got a crazy roll of speed here, which has helped me get there. Defense and speed, speed defense, defense and speed, speed defense. Yeah, you get the idea. Um, we've got some defense and speed here on a defense banner. Defense amulet and defense ring with defense roll. It's basically as good as you're going to get. That's what you want for your Valkyrie. She's going to put out some silly shields, which are going to get us through the fights. What else have I done then? So I've just done a, a couple of tweaks to Draco. Brought his defense up a little bit higher. Um, and that's about it, really. I just brought his defense up an extra couple of hundred. So I swapped out, I think it was the banner. Maybe, maybe in the banner, but um, sorry, the amulet. And I think I just swapped over one of the pairs of gloves. So still not, not too different from the previous build, but just a bit more defense in line with where everyone else is going to be. Septimus, what have I done here? I've brought his defense up about 800. Um, I've got his crit damage up, lost a little bit of crit rate in the process, lost a bit of accuracy. Accuracy is probably the biggest thing that I'm worried about here, but the rest of it is a very good build. So I actually put this chest on him here. He gave us a defense chest with some speed on it. Um, we kept the boots. I think most of the rest we kept. This was good. I swapped over some of the jewelry. So I put crit damage amulet on him. Defense ring. We got an accuracy banner. He's good to go. One, two, three. We got Tayrell. Tayrell was already a good build. What I've done though is I've pulled his defense down. I've got the speed to the right level. And then I've put his crit rate up. Crit rate up. So I may as well push a bit more crit damage. How have I done it? We've done crit rate in the gloves. These are a great pair of gloves loads of accuracy on them we've got an hp in the chest and we've got defense in the boots um how have i managed to do that well we found some speed up here we've got massive defense roll up here which is brilliant with some speed uh, and we've got a good defense roll here as well so he's stacked with really good items in fairness defense here with defense rolls crit damage here because we've got crit rates because we've got crit rate on the gloves, we may as well push crit damage on the amulet, and then we're going to get more damage out of those gloves. And then we've got nice accuracy here on the banner. This is a brilliant, brilliant build for Tayrell. He is going to be in solid shape for the whole fight. So he's good to go. And then lastly, we've got Steel Skull. So Steel Skull needed a lot of reworking. Um, what have I done here? I pushed defense gloves on him, defense chest, and defense boots. This is an end game build for a Steel Skull. Defense amulet. HP, uh, sorry, defense ring, HP amulet. I'd rather this was defense as well, but we don't have one. And then accuracy on the banner. All speed sets so that he can get the speed up to where I need it to be. We've got another good defense roll here. Lots of accuracy in the build as well. So all in all, another very solid build. You can see his total stats here. I mean, he's gained about 1.5, 1.4, 1.5K defense from where he was. I brought the speed right back. He had speed boots on, I've taken those off, went defense boots instead, and then the rest of the stuff is still really, really good. So I'm, I'm hoping this is gonna be 
pretty top tier Ultra Nightmare team now. So we're going to go straight in for a fight, take him on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the setup on manual like normal and then we'll, we'll let it run auto after that. So because our, our Valkyrie is fast enough, we're going to go faster than the clan boss, get the, um, we're going to get the counterattack straight on, perfect. Means that we get one more turn of extra damage. And then we're going to lay our poisons out. Nice. Try and extend those with a big old hit from Septimus, 145k. Not bad, not bad at all. We're going to get our decreased defense on for the counterattack, just so we get a bit more damage out of that. And now it's just about topping up poisons, keeping those debuffs up, and making sure we use our increased defense at the right time. So increased defense from our Steel Soul is going to go on now. Reason for that is that Valkyrie will cast her counterattack next turn. She needs that increased defense to get an even bigger shield. That's why you do it just before Valk goes for a next turn. You could, I could even do it in the next turn, but I need him for his cleanse in the next turn. So we're going to go more poisons up. Probably didn't need to do that, actually. Extend debuffs, though, coming on from Septimus there. Pretty clutch. Cleanse from the, the Steel Skull. Counterattack goes up with the massive shields. Look at these. And then we are rolling through again. So at this stage now, I'm going to hit auto. It's going to flow through nicely. If I do it on manual all the way, Steel Skull will always be able to cleanse that um, that stun. On ma uh, sorry, on auto, it doesn't always cleanse a stun. Sometimes he's a bit of a fool and he holds it. I'll show you actually just now. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. He like prioritizes cleansing a poison over a stun for some reason. I don't know why he does it. It's quite annoying. Look at that hit. 276k from Septimus in there. Really nice. There's a stun. Are you going to cleanse it? No, you're not. You're going to do your shield thing. So you see what I mean. He's a bit of a fool on auto, but I don't think it matters. We're still going to get good numbers. So I'm going to let it play, and I'll show you how we do. Okay, so we've come in then 22.85 million. Um, that's just about a free key, just under. Okay, so we are going to take on the spider. The lips will not sync here because the audio messed up on my first recording. Basically, we're going with Septimus, we're going with Royal Guard, Apothecary, Valk for Shields, and the Draco for the debuffs. So we're going to go speed into the big shields, and then we're going to get debuffs off to get big nukes. Septimus goes in 1.9 million, then we get 1.6 million from our Royal Guard. Very nice indeed. Now it's all about actually just rotating abilities back. So we need some of those hits to come back on, mainly the Royal Guard. I mean, Septimus is the target here, which is not ideal. I'd rather Valk be the target initially, um, but at least Septimus can soak up some of that damage um, whilst we're waiting to get those abilities back. If we didn't have the speed, if we didn't have the shields here, this would be a much, much harder fight. Um, but, you know, we're trying to clear Spider 20 for the first time with the champs we've got available. So uh, we've actually got a pretty good, good selection here. So here we go, we keep the healing going for a bit longer. We're actually not far off one shotting, but Spider comes back, half healthed it. Septimus has gone down, which is kind of what I'd expect with that many poisons on him. But we are looking pretty clean to be able to get this done. Um, as long as we can just keep the pressure up and keep the Spiderlings off of the Royal Guard. So there we go, recycle that, that shield again from the Valk. Insane ability. Keep the attacks going in. And obviously, the only challenge you've got when you've got a counter-attacker out there is it slows your run down because automatically the counter-attacker is, is retaliating. So here we go again, retaliation, retaliation. It's a bit frustrating, but when you've got somebody as strong as a Valk, you've got to use her unless you've got a team which becomes, you know, like a, an instant nuke team. So we get it kind of slow down here. Um, but yeah, ultimately, we're just trying to get back to that Royal Guard slam as soon as we can. And obviously things like the poisons coming on. So there's a big slam again. And yeah, it feels like this is going to be pretty comfortable as we are. Um, so we're going to see it through. What are we at now? 1 minute 56. 1 minute, yeah. Yeah, we're coming up for 2 minutes. There's the, the regen. But notice there's no health regen there. So that was the sort of split. So as long as we can kill it before it gets that health regen, I think we're going to be good. We might lose the Valk unless we get a heal. There's the heal. There's the shields. That's what we needed. And now we're going to be in pretty good position, I think. We should be able to kill it, I think, before we even need that slam. So close already. 
Last thing I want though is for the spider to do a health regen, but I think we're good. I think we're going to get several does before that happens. So yeah, we're just coming up now. It's probably going to be something close to a three minute run. Oh, come on, give me a War Master hit. Come on. We're close. What are we at? 245. Yes, yeah, it's, it's near enough there. One more hit. Anyone who hits it now is going to kill it, I'm sure. Um, so that's clean. That is Spider 20 on auto. Done and dusted. Um, I know it's, I mean, it's a top tier team, so you'd expect it, but it's actually, it's never easy. But there we go. There she goes. She is down. Good job, people. So we've come in for a second run. It's actually been less effective, so I think we go back to the original setup. But it's always good to test these things. Septimus still died quite early, so we didn't actually get the benefit of having the tank in there. He died actually from the AoE from the spider. So I think we, we would keep it the way it was, but that is now a couple of auto runs in a different way. So this team is good to go. Lastly, then we're going to get into some arena sh shenanigans. Who are going to be our arena team? Um, comment below, who would you pick? Who would you pick if you were me? There's actually not that many 60s here, so not many choices. Who are you going to pick? Comment below. Let's see if we get the same ones. So we're going in for the arena then. Last thing of this takeover. What have I done? We've got Rotus was already built. I'm not going to mess around with that. He's already looking pretty strong. Be big attack. Good crit rate. Good crit damage. Could do a bit more crit damage to be fair. Maybe another 30-40%. Um, so maybe if I was advising sort of next steps, it would be to try and find yourself some crit damage gear that's going to kind of cut in over these pieces here but we don't have any right now but he's in good shape we're going to bring Valk in for those shields we've got Razan in to drop their turn meter and to be annoying and then I'm going to bring Cillian in potentially um, Septimus in depending on who we're up against so let's get into this let's see if we can take a couple of people down with this new arena setup we're actually really close to plat here as it is so that is pretty strong this is what was being run before Interesting. I mean, surprised this works. I'm surprised he's got as high as he has with that team, but good effort. So we're going to go a bit more resistance from our Razin, Balk, and then who did I say? Killian. I think I said Cillian. I meant Killian. Uh, here he is. Let's see how we get on. So we don't have a decreased defense like AoE champ. I don't think we need it. We're going to be slower. We didn't have a, a kind of speed lead that was worth using. Oh, he's just got absolutely nuked. That is a good effort from that um, Brachus, actually. So, let's drop some turn meter. Let's start to take control. Obviously, we've got counterattacks up now, so we're going to do some damage every time they try and do stuff to us like that. That's nice. So, what we can do is we can block cooldown skills. Perhaps on... Who do I want to do it on? Maybe this guy. Or I can stun someone up. I could stun up and try and get the kill. If I kill, I get this this regen again. Um, and steals turn meter. 50% of turn meter. Nobody's particularly high, so I'm going to go in here for this ability. Blocked all his, his steals, so he's just got A1s now for the rest of the match. He's going to die anyway soon. That's cool. These counterattacks are going to slowly whittle him away. Yeah, good luck, mate. Good luck. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. There's a lot of damage right there. Um, I think we're going to have to try and drop some turn meter. He's dead. Wow, that was so much damage from this um, this wolf man. Literally MVP in this by himself. He's going to be dead. Brachus is doing work for that team. Let's see if we can take out High Cartoon. Not quite. Oh. Um, can we take out Seeker? No. Big shield's coming up then. Let's see what we can do. This is tough. This is a much harder fight than I thought it was going to be at the start here. Basically because Rota's got completely nuked down. As soon as he was nuked down, um, yeah, my main damage dealer is literally dead and buried. Can we take him out? Two fears land. Of course they do. Oh. There he goes again. Kill him! Kill him! Okay, 1v1. What you got? Uh, six hits! Oh. 
Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear, this fight. Oh, he's got his revive. So close. So close. That was actually disgusting, that fight. I did not expect that. Yoris, good effort on this Bracus build. He's not even ascended. Uh, maybe I need to do some work on my Bracus. He was really strong there. What we got going on this time? Got resisted, that's good. So we can get our shields and our counter attacks up nice and early. If you've got a uh, Rotus coming at you counter attacking, then that's nasty because he hits hard. Here we go then. All the counter attacks going in. We can try and drop turn meter on everybody. Got it off nice. So what do I want to do? We don't have any shared damage yet from Chris, so I could just go and try and one shot Seeker. Oh yeah, Seeker's down. Uh, I think we go for the big boy next. Just try and steal some of his health. I could do with just blocking his cooldown so he doesn't put shared damage on everybody. That's done. He's now out of the game. So Gala's the, the damage threat, so she's going to be next to die. be fair, they're doing a good job of keeping me at bay. So Gala could come in with a big hit here. D3 speed come up, that's nice. There's the Devastate, I knew it was coming. She's down though, that's good. Oh, it's looking pretty tight though on my old uh, Rotus. He's taking a bit of a beast in. I mean, he's not going to do much. We need to get rid of Tyrell now. Tyrell's the threat. Let's try and take some of his health. And then finish him off. Hopefully this will kill him now. And then we've just got Chris to deal with. So he's just going to be doing A1s all day. That's not enough to take us down. Bang, there he goes. 80k, nice. And that is going to be the team rocking and rolling. So look, we're already high here. This team is strong. Um, but I think we are ready to fight our way right the way up to Plat. So I'm going to be handing back now to Supporto. We've got Spider20 done and dusted. We've made an improvement on the Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss team by a few million a key. We're just about getting to that free key stage. And we've got an arena team that, in fairness, was already strong. That is going to be just that bit stronger. I've been Hell Hades. I'll catch you all soon.